In the pilot episode of Rosanna Pancino's new podcast, Rodiculous, she did something very ridiculous in honor of her late father's passing. She decided to smoke a joint that was made with her father's ashes. And I found this incredibly bizarre, really disturbing, and I think we should all know less about each other after this. This says in her tweet, We lost my dad about five years ago to leukemia. He was the best. His dying wish was to be grown into a cannabis plant and be smoked. So that's what I did. The first episode of my new podcast, Ridiculous, is dedicated to him. Link to the full episode. Love and miss you every day, Papa Pizza. I guess that's what they would call him, Papa Pizza. Yep. Um, here, let's look at the video where she puffs the smoke of her father's ashes for okay. the first time. Here we go. Be honest with you guys, I talked to my YouTube rep and they actually advised me not to do this episode. I'm sure it will get age restricted, demonetized and probably suppressed in the algorithm, but I do not care. My dad was a badass and quite a little rebel and I will be following in his footsteps. Like father, like daughter. So to start this episode, I wanna tell you guys about my dad's dying wish. Before he passed, he told me and my mom what he would like us to do with his ashes. And at first my mom was a little bit hesitant because she thought this is kind of hippie, you know, this is, people are gonna judge us. But as time's gone on and it's been five years now, we just really think that it's the right time to do what dad wanted and to honor him the way he wanted. So years ago, he told me and my mom that he would like us to take his ashes, mix it in with some soil and grow a marijuana plant and smoke him. And <laughs> I, I told you he was a rebel. Um, and I actually have footage of us doing this together. Um, it was very emotional and special and I'm glad that we got to have these memories like honoring dad together. I even got to work with a local licensed grower here in California. His name's Ninja and he was absolutely amazing. I learned so much from him. He's very knowledgeable, not just about cannabis plants, but plants in general. And I just can't thank him enough for helping me honor my dad's wishes. Anyways, back to it, we just recently harvested the cannabis plant and we made joints. I have this cute little carrying case and a friend it's of themed. mine helped me roll these. And not only are they adorable, but they are rolled with pink rolling paper. So, so on brand. They even match the set. I mean, this... It Aesthetic matters, Mary. Yeah. Okay. The rolling papers. Well, we didn't see the, the Papa moment. Papa Pizza could see this, I mean, you guys. Do we really he need would to see just. It? I don't think it matters. <laughs> it matters. Get a huge kick out of this. So, at the end of this podcast episode, I am going to be fulfilling my dad's wish <laughs> and honoring him, and I'm really looking forward to it. This podcast represents a new era for me, and I just cannot wait to go down this journey with you all. But okay. Yeah. So, in that episode of her podcast, she first welcomes a guest who is a self-proclaimed grief expert mm -hmm. which just means he's written a bunch of books about grief and grief counseling and stuff like that i do love so, all of the weird things you can be considered an expert on yeah. if you end up on tv now yeah yeah um sex experts sex experts if you will mm -hmm. so uh this is the way that she decided to honor her father's legacy and his request they as you could see in that video, mixed his ashes into pots of soil mm -hmm. and grew marijuana out of it. And then her, her sister, and her mom smoked joints yes. with that. And, and, and I just, I think that it's, it's distasteful. And it's actually, in my mind, it's like a step away from yep. cannibalism. <laughs> You think it's just it's like proto-cannibalism? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Because you're consuming human remains. Like that's basically a step away from cannibalism. And uh, not only that. Oh, was this from? That stands fantastic. Let me see. Immediately reminds me the South Park episode that they drank Kenny's ashes thinking it was chocolate milk mix. Side note, 
We getting to the time of year to watch Jingle All the Way. Got room still. Praise be to Space King. Also, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't this the plot of How High? I've never seen that, so I don't know. It's been a long time. Anyways, um, I've known many a weed head in my life. They, they're into weird shit. This didn't Do you want to put anyone on blast? No, right I now? don't. I don't. And, and this <laughs> didn't shock me at all. It doesn't. Um, is it weird to me? Sure. But, you know, whatever. I think <laughs> whatever. the even worse part is that she is posing in all of these Instagram photos kind of suggestively okay. with the joint. Um, do you have the Instagram post that she oh, had up? I, I thought I did at one point. Yeah, I do here. Sorry, it was in the wrong folder. Yep, here it is. Uh, Scroll to the right. I'm telling right. you, it looks like somebody tried to to make Bobby Altoff and Katy Perry the same person. You're not, you're not looking at the worst of it, no, though. That's, that's the worst. worst. Okay, keep going. There's more. Like, she's posing with her ass out, holding a joint that contains her father's remains. Yep. I think that's really inappropriate and weird. Do you not? Am I the crazy one? Uh, I, I, I guess I'm just not shocked, nor do I care about this. Uh, you, like, uh, to each their own. It's weird, but not really all that much to me. So you agree? I like, guess. I'm not out of my mind for thinking I mean, that I don't this think is you're, weird. I don't think you're out of your mind, but it's just, you know, whatever. I, like, but this, is my, this is my take on life, as you know, which makes this job so difficult for me. As I see people do weird shit, and I go, mm, whatever. No, I no, wouldn't I exactly it. say that it shocks me mm -hmm. because nothing that influencers do yeah. shocks me anymore. It's, they do anything for attention. I just, but... I, like, I, it's, I, like, it's very hard to find something for me that I don't just like scroll by on social media and go, weird, and then just keep scrolling. <laughs> That's what this was to me. I just, I said, huh, okay. Also, a big part of it is like, everything is for content now. So like, the real question is, would they do it without turning it into social media content or something for her live stream or something for her show or her podcast? I doubt it. Right? And I doubt that her making a podcast about smoking the, these ash joints was part of his request at the time. I think... You should actually disrespect the wishes of the dead if their wishes are bad. Fully, I'm going to just say that. If a loved one or, or family member, friend of mine, wished to, I don't know, have me sprinkle their ashes in the Sahara Desert, something random like that, I wouldn't do it. Jono in the chat says it doesn't contain her father. The ashes would have no, would have no, no nutrients in them. Uh, that the plant would have taken it was just grown in her father's ashes that's all so it's kind of more symbolic in nature than yeah that's else. that's not exactly the point because at multiple parts of this video where mm -hmm. she's smoking it she is joking about the fact that she is smoking her dad and like mm -hmm. she is breathing in particles of his body like she believes it to be the case mm -hmm. i'm not necessarily saying that's actually what's happening I also uh, saw people people were praising her for this. Like, mm -hmm. they thought it was really cool. Um, one person said she's living her best life. Uh, I wasn't familiar with your game. Dream blunt rotation. Yeah, I, I, I don't judge. I just don't care. <laughs> um, she's a girl boss for that. I don't care. The cooler thing <laughs> was when um, Deadpool broke up all of Wolverine's bo adamantium bones and then killed a bunch of TVA agents with them. That's the way cooler thing to do here. We have a 20 from Weary Traveler. It's definitely crazy, but with so much craziness in the world, it's hard not to become completely numb to it all. I mean, that's, I understand that. That's kind of me in a nutshell for most of this. You, Mary could probably attest, like very rarely do any of these stories really grab me in a way where I have like a strong reaction to like, the movie stuff bothers me more than the stories of people doing stupid things. Yeah. Because that, I'm like, you're a company worth a trillion dollars and you can't do this right? How is that possible? You're Netflix, you're worth a gazillion dollars, you're like the only streaming platform, yet you can't put on your whole show without it buffering and causing problems? <laughs> that upsets me more than stuff like this. This is just people be weird. She also kept the seeds that came from the marijuana plant. So she's going to continue regrowing them in his honor for a long while. <laughs> Look, I, I, my 
You know what? I'm like Mike Tyson right now. Like, who who gives an f about your legacy? Your legacy. You, I want people to think of it about me this way when I die. I want people to smoke a joint with my ashes in it when I die. Who the f cares yeah. about you when you're gone? No one. I wonder if she's still on the on the prowl against Mr. Beast. That's my question. Is she? Yeah. Whatever she happened un- to that? Has she uncovered vendetta. anything new about Mr. Beast yet? <laughs> I think she's just uh, vibing. She's do like you, um, okay, one of the most marketable influencers too, so it's surprising to see her do shit like this. So for you, um, burial or cremation? What me? Yeah, you. like personally, yeah. what am I gonna do? Yeah, I'm just I was just curious. Um, I mean burial. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get embalmed either because I find that super disturbing. Um, but obviously I'm Catholic as well, so I don't believe that it's morally acceptable to spread your remains in ashes over the ocean or whatever like we're actually we're forbidden from doing that oh i didn't know that and i would be forbidden from doing that to my own family members remains too okay even if they requested it yes yeah Yeah. wouldn't do it yeah i mean i would actually ignore their request and do what i wanted to do (laughs) with their remains anyway what about you though Um, what are your plans uh the I'm going to go the Walt Disney route. Freezing your freezing head, my head below the PCC studio. Yeah. And, and then I'll keep doing the show. When while the you're... technology finally comes about <laughs> where they can bring me back to life and, and I can be reinstantiated, we'll do that. We'll put your frozen head in a bucket of Orbeez underneath the PCC studio. That's perfect. While I keep making videos. That's, uh, or if it was ashes, you could put me in a bunch of Mountain Dew bottles and then put me underneath the Amazing. studio. Amazing. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Uh, look, the if I'm being honest, the none of what she did with the ashes was weird to me. The pictures were weird to me. So you don't think it was weird to do it? I, I just, not weird outside the realm of just, this is completely normal in today's day and age, and it doesn't shock me. Normal in today's day and age yeah. is different than and also not something objectively I would, normal. Not something I would do, but also there's a million things I wouldn't do, so who am I to say? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I am someone to say. I, I, I know always, you was. That's, that's, I always that's am the someone point. You're to, always say to say every that's single point. time. So yeah. that's what makes us different. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.